glad the sun came up. I still have my pan, my very burnt looking pan. I'm glad y'all understood that last vlog was a cry for help. I have a few comments bookmarked, so if one method doesn't work, we have a few to try. We said to put warm water into the pan and a little bit of dish soap. And to put the stove on low heat. Low heat until it boils, then supposedly this will be able to scrape off real easy. Saturday is like my day off. I posted today, so you know what? I may have missed dinner. But we're gonna get some ice cream.
These are the new freebies. Wait, I love them so much. Oh, the colors are so vibrant. So freaking cute. Gotta make sure to order from the next shop update if you want one of these little guys. Day two of trying to get rid of the char. Some people said to use baking soda and some people said to use vinegar, but I haven't read a comment that said to use both of them together. I'm gonna try baking soda first and seeing if it does anything. Then if not, we'll do the vinegar. Day 500. The baking soda method almost took all of it off, but this part, she refuses to budge. So, we're going harder today. Y'all, I think she's done. So I have this board on Pinterest where I save a bunch of cute hairstyles I want to try. A lot of them I've been looking at lately use these pretty white ribbons. I don't have any quite this size. I do have a lot of ribbon at home, but I'm going to see what I can find today.
so pretty. I know this sounds crazy for me, but I happen to have cream cheese that is past its deadline. Okay, everyone told me that best buy date means like it's not gonna be completely spoiled, but I feel like I'm taking a risk with dairy. So I'm going to make like a cream frosting kind of thing because I want to make some pastries for Valentine's Day. I know it's not Valentine's Day yet, but I want to make some of these before I leave on my trip tomorrow. So I could gift some of them to my mom who is the person that I'm going on this trip with. Valentine's, but also like just year round if you want cute pastry, bakery, chocolate, bear stuff. This sticker sheet is for you. I also got my bunny stickers that I designed for the new year. There's gonna be a theme of rabbits, which I think go well with my bear characters already. I mean, this rabbit is, it's actually my bear. My bear dressed up as a rabbit. And then of course I gotta have a rabbit and a cake, very on brand. The sun is really good right now. I should probably take some product photos. supposed to be freaking freezing when I'm there. I'm not looking forward to being the Michelin man or Michelin woman. I'm gonna be indoors. I mean, okay, it's an ice rink. I'm gonna be in the ice rink the whole time. Okay. No, but we're just gonna bring layers. Be safe. I bought this scarf back when I lived in Maryland, so like at least three years ago, and I, I just don't go out when it's cold. Why go outside and be miserable when you can stay inside and cozy and warm? But now she's, she's gonna get a debut.
how am I supposed to do that with my busted thumb? I, you want me, I can open it. No, it'll be the first to go. I come bearing gifts. These Those are cool. your addictions, huh? Thank you. K-pop group NCT. I wouldn't know if I saw them, but I but heard But the names. one I went to their concert, we were in like this audition where we were trying to get into a group. There were coaches and they were making us sing the divisions of the song. And they were going over a high note part. And the, the coaches were so upset that with us because they were like turning to tell on us, right? They were just picking out random people. And all the NCT guys were there. Like, I was the only non NCT person who was auditioning. I don't know why I was auditioning this group. My stage name or my nickname was Bunny. <laughs> They kind of acted like I was a guy. So they're like the bunny guy when they're referring to me. You guys have to keep singing the high note like we're trying out whoever I point. I bumped the guy next to me because he's the main vocalist. I was like, you should try because in real life, that's his line. Yeah. He was kind of not so good. Maybe it's because we were still trainees. And then another guy tried it. Not so good either. The trainer turns to me. He's like shaking my head. No, that's not my spot, sir. And he's like, okay, if Bunny's not gonna do it, he's out of the group. <laughs> and I was like, Bunny, you don't want to do it. We're packing your bags and you're going back to America. <laughs> so I tried and my voice cracked. <laughs> they post the results on the wall. Everyone gets points for how they did. I'm at the very bottom. Bunny, negative 10. <laughs> And then the dream before that, I was pen pals with Emma Chamberlain.
सभी is this These have been making my apartment smell so good, but it's also been triggering my hunger senses throughout the entire freaking day to smell these. I got a bunch of sesame, but I ate one yesterday. And then I got a garlic one and an onion one. I can't tell the difference based on appearance. This one is like a mixed bag. We have a French toast flavored one. I think this is spinach parmesan, sun-dried tomato one, a sourdough one. Probably not 
I'm so glad the sun came out because it was gloomy and it was making me depressed. The best part about Valentine's Day is the chocolate. Oh. I think I've got milk chocolate ganache hearts and dark chocolate. I used to have packs of just the dark chocolate because my mom, when I first started living alone, she sent me packs of these. I used to have like two or three a day. I've kind of been having a lot of sweets lately and I'm a little burnt out. This is the last bit of the cream that I used for those cream puff desserts I made for my mom. Put in the freezer, so it's... I think it is a little more solid than when it started out, but um, um yeah, we're gonna let her defrost a little. Good and looks so cute. Listen. I'm gonna try and see if my taste buds have learned acceptance. You know what? I'm trying. I just don't think fruits are for me. 